you see down here there are three tubes. There's this one, this one, and this one. And this was the original piece that was in there. See? And this, where this hole is, that was another thing sticking out. And it broke off. I was told by the guy at the repair shop that it's probably from, I mean, it's five years old, this car. Five years of constant vibrating, eventually, since this is made of plastic, that eventually breaks off. So, apparently last summer, that's what was happening. It had already begun to break a little bit, and it was leaking slightly, and I hadn't noticed it. So now I have this metal one that I'm going to install now. I'll loosen that a bit. So I pulled this tube out from in there. I snipped off these plastic things that are holding the tube sort of neatly in place and it cinches it as tight as it goes. So when I finish installing the whole thing, I'll go ahead and put those plastic, I'll get some new plastic things because those I had to cut. They're the same things that the police use when they're arresting people. They use those plastic ties. It's the same thing. And I had to take out this entire hose, actually. I had to unscrew it from the other end because this hose, since the plastic had broken off and corroded, the plastic was stuck inside this tube. The other end was here. See, and it's the same kind of contraption. I had to unscrew that, take the whole tube out, and then I rinsed it in under running water in my sink and bits of corroded plastic came out. So now the tube is clean. And also I passed a coat hanger through it to make sure nothing was stuck in there. So here we go. So see that's the one end which goes to here. Somehow I don't know how the water gets there but it, somehow the water goes in here and then follows this tube and to here. And that's where all the leaking the leaking was when the plastic was in. But now i got to put one more tube on this side and the other tube on that side. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if you're able to see this. Mm -hmm. Trying to get that tube in there. Once I get it in, it'll be fine. And this is to save me a lot of money at the mechanics. That's the only reason I'm doing this. It does get quite expensive. Okay, I'm going to have to loosen that up and get that tube in there. There we go. And now I'll tighten that up really good. There. Really good. Okay, we've got one more tube. There's this hose left that I've got to put on this end right there. And we'll be done. Okay, so there we are. One, and here's the other end, and here's the little skinny one here. See, that's one, two, three. It's all in place. Now i got to fill the water tank, which is completely empty. I spent 30 pesos on antifreeze. So I've learned this year through all of your nice mails that you've sent to me <laughs> in, in varying degrees of aggressive that uh, antifreeze, you know, is good to put in there. Antifreeze or refrigerant in here. I also put distilled water in there too. Then we have this cover, which apparently at some point broke. Why again, vibration and plastic don't really go well together. Thanks for watching. See you next time.